guys, I have a new video for you today. Now, this one is, uh, this one just came in, actually. And I um, I was in the middle of cleaning up my back uh, workshop area. And I figured, let's take the opportunity to address this by video. It would be a lot easier to do it this way rather than uh, trying to type out steps. Okay? And um, this one is from Dawn. And she want to know uh, exactly what to do about this section here, how to fix this section. And I'm believing this is what she's referring to, okay? Uh, you know, when this, if this pops off or if there's a problem with this or if it's out of whack or something of that sort, all right? And if I'm wrong, please let me know in the, <laughs> in the comments and I'll try, to, I'll try to do a different one. But sometimes you, you're trying to uh, interpret uh, what some of the questions are and uh, so I'm thinking my brain is is pretty decent I should be I think I, I think this is what she's referring to so here we go all right uh, let me see if I can adjust this just a little bit because um, it's hard to here we go I'm standing up up, up right now all right uh, let me uh, I'm gonna first uh, I'm number one I'm gonna use a uh, Phillips screwdriver and, um, and like I said in a previous video I used to use the uh, drill to undo a lot of this stuff and it turns out that it becomes um, uh, some you know sometimes the, the the plastics are brittle so you're gonna have to feel that out yourself for the sake of this because I don't want you know I don't want to have to keep doing different videos just in case I destroy a plastic <laughs> and, uh, and there are drills with soft settings so if you have a drill with a soft setting then use that if, if, if you like but right now I'm gonna use a uh, uh, Phillips screwdriver. So here we go. Let's start from the top. First, I'm going to have to take this off. Take these things apart. Okay, so let's take everything off. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Let's see where we're going. All right. Um, okay, so I'm going to take this off and we're going to start from the back. All right. It may seem like a pain in the butt but it is it's a pain in the butt all right so what i'm gonna do uh maybe i may just speed up the video just a little bit and so you can see it i'll try to adjust the camera for you to see what i'm doing um but i'll see if i can use hand gestures to kind of let you know where to follow along all right so here we go we're taking out the back screw Of the long screws on the outside, as you can see, this one, this long one is for here, and the two short ones are for the uh, the inside. Okay. Okay. Let's see if we don't have to take off all this stuff. We may only have to take apart. Okay, we're gonna have to remove this handle base here. Okay. So let's pull that out. start the process of trying to remove this piece here, this panel. All right. And there you go. The panel is off. All right. So now how to start from scratch. First, let's make sure all these things are doing their job. This is connected. Um, if for some reason this is broken, that your problem could be here. If it's not helping um, do the adjustments on the side. So you want to check that. Okay. All right. And um, I, what I will do is check to see if these pieces are available for purchase if, if it's broken. All right, let me uh, 
do a check real quick for you. All right, so the schematic should be up by now. No, this part is not, these parts are not sold. Uh, to, to get something like this would probably have to be through uh, maybe like an eBay. Um, I have this part. I have an extra one of these hanging around the shop. <laughs> so if you're watching this video months later or something from the time I went up, most likely if somebody wanted this, it's already gone. So I'm sorry about that. But you can't get these things. Uh, they, don't, they don't sell them. All right. But uh, let me let you see what's happening here. Okay. See this, this mechanism here? This is a slider. Goes up, goes down. All right, let me, let me see if I can use this to pull it back up. All right, it goes up and goes down. Okay, it's up and down. All right, and what it's like is a uh, the older Bissell proheats on the side where the solution tank sits. If you open it up, okay, inside the tank, there's kind of a okay. On the side of the tank, there's a knob that allow you to put a little bit more, more. And all this is doing is, uh, as the water is flowing through the tubing, it's kind of like, sh like shutting off how much can flow through. So if you notice on the side, it says max, deep, express, stuff like that. And all it is just control, controlling the flow of solution. That's it. Okay. I really don't mess with this. I just leave it at max. Okay. All right. But anyway, when you're when you when you're ready to put this back on, okay, the best thing to do is to put it all the way down to the to the bottom. Okay. Start at the very bottom. Okay. And then do the same with this. Start at the very bottom. So this way, when you snap it in. That is the most secure place for it to be because everything else is kind of, it's wiggling. It's up and down and up and down and you, and you would have to get the exact precise location. So the most precise location, in my opinion, is at the very bottom, okay? So go down to the very bottom and then you're gonna start putting these pieces back on, okay? So let me just let you see what you have going on here. This piece here is gonna, these two clips is gonna, it's a little closer. It's gonna put into the sides of this. There's a little two two little openings right here. Then you're also gonna have um, this where one of the screws are gonna go in. Okay, uh, you're gonna put that down below, uh, and really that's that's what you're doing. Okay, all right. And what I do before I put everything back, let me just make sure this is in. Let me sorry about that. Yeah. So before I put everything back, I kind of test it to feel if it's like. If I feel the notch one, notch two, right? So I go up and down. That means good to go, all right? And that's it, guys. Um, let me just put this back together again. And that's really, just make sure everything snaps in nice and easy. Uh, I would, if I was you, I would put the, the, the tall screw in first. Okay. All right. Okay, that's good to go. You can snap your handle back in, push this back down. Now you may have to kind of open this a little bit to allow this to slide down freely, okay? So if you can see what I'm doing here, now that's in, you get your nice long screw here, okay, for the back handle, but you wanna make sure you put this in first. Okay, snap in, snap in. There you go. Nice. Okay. <laughs> ah, this is happening. All right. All right. Now, I hope this fixed the problem. I really do. Um, but there's somebody out there <laughs> who who probably needed this video anyway. So if it didn't fix the problem for you, um, contact me again, it's okay, all right? Contact me again, I'm not, uh, I'm not at the point where I can't answer, answer the, uh, 
the comments. <laughs> okay, all right, we're set. All right, this goes here, back, and you know, and this, do your testing. Do your testing. Actually, I'm gonna do another one in the clean shot. Okay, this at the bottom, because uh, you see this one at the bottom here? This. Someone contacted me who had trouble with that, and um, I just kind of explained it away, and I, mm, you know, don't feel good about that, so look out for another video showing how to um, at least diagnose when this thing is stuck. All right, until next time, thanks for tuning in. Bye.